President Yemi Oshibajo unveiled Nigeria's vision to accelerate human capital development by the year 2030. He made the presentation during the extended National Economic Council meeting, which held at the presidential villa Abuja. State House correspondent Maria Olashende reports. This meeting is an extended session of the National Economic Council meeting chaired by Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo with state governors in attendance. The focus of today's meeting is based on human capital development. But the big question is, what is Nigeria's vision to accelerate human capital development by 2030? This human capital development program is focused on three main thematic areas, health and nutrition, education, labor force. Vice President Yemi Oshibajo is concerned about human capital development, especially with the results of the last poverty study done by the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics in 2012, which indicates that 112 million Nigerians were living in extreme poverty. He explains that the Buhari administration introduced the social investment program to change the narrative. And no one is shut out on account of the fact that they cannot afford it. Nigerians everywhere deserve to live healthy, educated, and productive lives. What cannot be measured is always said, cannot be managed. We have to work harder to ensure that we have available revenue to manage beyond health, education, and the purposes. All these items are to do when funding is available, either to federal, states, local governments, and as well as other development partners. We in the National Assembly, we've done our bit by appropriating, appropriating. Uh, in particular, this 2018, we have included the 1% of the cost of data being informed. Uh, for the health sector, it's about 55 billion year. And we will not be able to say we have achieved much if this money is not released. The country representative of the Department for International Development says human capital development will not happen overnight, but requires greater and increased efforts on the parts of drivers of the economy. This is not just the right thing to do for each and every one of those children. It's also the smart thing to do because we know that investing in human capital offers a significant rate of return, indeed much greater than other investments. The take-home at the end of this meeting is that Nigerians everywhere deserve to live healthy, educated and productive lives. The high point of the event is the presentation of Nigeria's vision to accelerate human capital development by 2030 by the Vice President. Maria Olashende, TVC News, Abuja.